A few techniques. Some people you have no way to go. You no way to go in. So when you, the important part is the skin. Okay, don't get too close on the ribcage. You get a little bit, let the skin a little bit, and you press it in from here, and you go in and hold. People can be very, very painful, especially in the liver part. Okay, when people very emotional in the liver part. So when you go like like this in, you hold. You see the people face, you know, they don't turn, turn pale. <laughs> so you see the people face and you turn and you tell, this is emotional, very, very emotional is the liver. So you tell the people to smile and move the eye left and right and the tongue. She told me that uh, interesting because we have all this but a lot of other, you know, let go, let go, okay, let go all the negative. Yeah, you a little bit tighten here, and you move it until it started to soft, and it soft very quick, and the emotional go. And sometimes, if you started to pick up the energy, you spiral, bring it down. It's a hand technique. The other one is the finger technique. So one finger, and you go in like this. Massage on the tension part. This one usually we use on the small intestine. Small intestine have so much problem: blow up, gas, uh, feces, caught, dirty because it's so many twists. The, the small intestine have I don't know how many how many curve. <laughs> you know how many curve? I don't know. There's so many curves like this. So if the food are too sticky, too heavy, too no fiber, they caught that. And they don't move. So we, the whole problem in our system is one pipe, one highway. From here all the way to the end is a one way, <laughs> one way pipe. <laughs> and you come up to here, it's go like this, it's making very slow headway. It's making very slow go this way. So the digestion go on here take a long time, six hours. Some of them six hours. I mean some of them are lesser like vegetable, fruit, and all these things goes faster. But the heavy meat go very slow. So if you, if you have heavy meat, so you have um, heavy meat, some salad, something, so the whole thing whole. So that's why we want to, like fruit, we always like to have fruit first, have the salad, and the soup, and the heavy thing. So the heavy thing can be on the top. So otherwise, the, uh, the, the, the vegetable on the top, and the meat on the bottom, and it takes six, four to six hours to digesting the meat, and the vegetable become fermented and gas and creating a lot of gas. And gas is the one that causing so much, so much, so much of a problem. It blow up here, one area, and this, and it's gonna press on the nerve. Usually it's gonna back pain because of the gas. Hernia because of the gas. When we don't have enough gas, though. So the um, people have to have enough enzyme, okay? And um, that means that you have to have um, good enough en enzyme. I mean the sprout. I think now everybody know we need to have some sprout. Okay? And uh, sprout have a lot of enzyme. So now people can grow their own, own sprout and house. So you are teaching the people their lifestyle. Okay? Learn how to eat a little bit more sensitively rather than just eat whatever they are. You know? And um, because the health. So when you when you do on the intestine, you have to see, feel the curve. See the intestine? You sometimes you feel it. The, it's stuck here. It's stuck in, it is, sometimes it's stuck on this corner. Okay? And it's stuck. That's why we want, we want the colon cleaning. If the colon don't clean out, um, this don't move. Because one move, the other thing gonna move. 
Okay, so you and you shake it, and so this is the intestine, the small intestine work, very very important. Okay, and when you feel uh, um, when you feel the um, it's stuck there, you shake, you hold for a while, you shake them. Intestine like shaking. If after you eat, you walk. So in the thousand said, after you finish eating, you must walk at least hundred steps. I think hundred steps is too little. <laughs> it should be a thousand steps. <laughs> so you should walk. When you walk, the intestine move. And gas go out. And oftentimes, I walk and you spiral like this. Tell the people to do it. Spiral and you bow. <coughs> <coughs> bell out, okay, but don't bell in the restaurant. No? <laughs> they say, "Hey, out!" <laughs> you no need to check even check bill. You know? <laughs> okay, <coughs> so um, the um, when you walk and you like this spiral on the intestine, the gas out, the wind, the the wind causing all the sickness, and it start from small intestine. It start right in the small intestine. And you have no way to do it unless people, after the, the, the first thing you have to start with, number one, the way they eat. They should eat more vegetable, green, and they must have some sprout. Okay? They must have some sprout because their enzymes inside there. And when they eat, they have to chew their food. They have to chew their food enough. Okay? And after finish eating, they should walk and move the abdominal, get the gas out. A few hundred steps walking is the best. Otherwise, you end up with blowing the, sp the stomach blow up and the gas no place to go. You are not healing the people, you are teaching the people. Okay? And uh, this is very important part. Now, so um, so the so the next step, the skin detoxify finished. We started to go on the intest small intestine, and small intestine caught a lot of emotional. Small intestine. If you look at here, emotion uh, intestine here, and you look at the size of the people. Okay, some people have very big damn berry. Okay, usually you have to charge them double. <laughs> the big dummy is fish. <laughs> okay. You don't know what to do with it. You know? There's so much gas, so much uh, fat, so much stew, so much anything, all stuck there. So in this one don't clean, no way. So the first thing they have to be clean out, go to all the super, we are preparing all the super clean. You have to go to the super clean to take all the toxic out. Green, take out toxic. Okay? Colon cleaning, toxic. Lymphatic, lymphatic. So we have the, uh, and later on we're going to go to the lymphatic massage. And you have to work on the lymphatic massage, okay? Now, small intestine is very big. It's one of very long organs, the longest organs that you have, okay? Now, you, you divide them into five zones right, left, top, bottom, middle. They are all in while we are connecting with organs. Okay? The right side here, the right side here, if you put your hand on the right side here, are more connecting to the liver. And the, any emotional of the liver will affect this. Angry, jealousy, envy, frustration will affect in this area. Now in this area, more on the top, emotion of the heart. Hatred, impatience, hastiness and uh, all kind of emotional emotional heart will affect me in here. Um, on the left side, also with the kidney, with the spleen, um, with the pancreas, so uh, the lung also. On the more on the both side here is more lung. Lung involved with that sadness, depression. It's, it really, really the small intestine take them all. They have space. They think 
our body think they have space. Okay, they dump them. <laughs> I mean, like our garage or attic, you know. <laughs> so if they have space, dump them, dump them. No. Small intestine have a lot of space. And usually they have space in order to accumulate for food to go to soup, but it's not for a place to stump garbage and the body don't know what to do when people don't know how to, to get, let go of the toxic and the sick energy. It is dumb. And they dump in, first thing, they dump in their small intestine. A lot of emotional. And uh, left and right, and below here in why we so much about their bladder, the kidney, the sexual organ. Guilt, feeling, it's a lot in here, guilty, emotional, okay? So um, when, you, when you find, very gentle, find the intestine, and you find the twist, and you twist them. So usually it's, it's like twist this way and shake. It's like this way. It's like twist, so you think this way, twist, okay? It's like this twist. It's like this twist. The small intestine like this kind of movement twisting. Okay? Okay? So that is a small intestine a twisting. Okay? Now, this twisting tremendously release and move whatever stuck there. Unless, and the next one we're going to opening, the next one we call the, um, so if you finish the small intestine, and you're scooping. We want the small intestine more stay in, not spread out. Okay, not spread out. So you grab, So you think this is uh, uh, one big rope of bread, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So you, okay? Like you are kneading the bread, okay? <laughs> push, pull, push, pull, and hold it, and shake it, okay? You can, uh, you can see the whole body shaking, <laughs> it's good, you know? The intestine light. Intestine need to move. When it stop, it don't move. Okay? Intestine have to keep on moving and get out. When it's slow, everything back up. The heavy traffic back up. We eat three meals. That means we need to eat. Also, make um, nutrition and make us satisfied. <laughs> make us happy. <laughs> so we have taste, we have color, we have taste. We have all these things make us happy, okay? So that is the, um, the pulling up. So the intestine, it should be when you put the hand up like this. So some people, know it's a big dummy. It's a, even you put two hands, it's still not cover, okay? So those people have to really take care of it. I mean, tell them how to take care of their body because it's too big dummy. All the intestine is deformed. Large intestine, small intestine, everything is deformed. On the counterclockwise. Okay? Small intestine, you really need time to really work on it until, until it's no, no blockage and no, no nothing blocked there. Okay?